So what are the options for gluing the base plate back onto the glass? Well, I had a look at a UV cured adhesive. That cost £19.30 together with a UV torch. You can shine that through the exterior and that would cure and glue the base plate on. I also had a look at a structural acrylic adhesive. £17.48 again from Permabond. I looked at the OEM solution, which was Aerodite 2013, together with a primer XW75. That is quite expensive. Um, cheapest I could find for the glue was £48.69. I did find a version of it, Aerodite 213-1, from Silmid.com for £27.12. An alternative primer I found was uh, the primer by 3M. 1499. Now another solution I looked at was the Loctite glass glue but I think that would be far too brittle for this application. There are also a number of rear view mirror adhesive kits available from various manufacturers which could also be worth a try. So what I went with in the end was the JB Weld epoxy. Now that's a quick setting epoxy. Um, I'm not going to use any primer glass primer because they are quite expensive so I'm going to see if this will do the job at just $6.99. If the mirror does fall off I will consider some of the other options mentioned. So I'm just going to scratch up the glass a little bit on the base plate and I'm going to cut off the old epoxy which is this grey aerodite. So it's actually snowing at the moment. <laughs> Not the ideal conditions for epoxy adhesion. So what we've got going on in the car today is a heater and this heater is to heat the windscreen to a sufficient temperature for the epoxy to bond. Now we're not using the heated windscreen because I'm going to come clean. I caused a short when I was trying to fix the boot lid light and that has actually stop the aircon from working as well as the glove box light. So when that fuse comes we'll be finishing off that video for you to see. But for the meantime we're going to show you how to epoxy the mirror base to the glass. So now we're going to remove any last bits of epoxy from the glass and we're going to clean the area with some isopropyl alcohol to remove any traces of grease. Right, now it's time to mix the epoxy. We're just going to pop some in the mixing tray. Like that. I'm going to give it a good mix round. So that's thoroughly mixed up now. Okay, so here is the epoxy applied to the mirror base. We're going to now stick that to the window. And we're going to add a little bit of tape to help us hold it in position. So we got it taped up there now. In the end I only held it for about 30 seconds. The tape should be doing its job. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now. So I think we're gonna take the tape off because it should be held there sufficiently for us to take the tape off. We're gonna come back in an hour or two just to see how that's doing. So it's been a couple of hours now. The base plate feels pretty solid despite the freezing temperatures. And so the mirror goes on 45 degrees from the angle that you want it. Make sure it's on there solid, then rotate 45 clockwise. And there we have it. So now we're going to reattach the mirror connection. 
And now we're going to reattach the condensation sensor. Like so. Now when we reattach the housing, we've got to make sure that none of these three clips are broken. If they are, we need to replace the housing. That's the first half. And there is the completed repair from the outside. Thanks for watching.